Coronal Imaging in C Elegance. Um, okay, uh, a microfluidic device uh, offers several advantages for research in C Elegance. Um, here we describe the preparation and obtaining of a simple and uh, reusable chips to quantify the behavioral response to chemical standards. Um, this article uh, focuses on the on the details that reduce the frustration experienced by new users using Laguna chip. Uh, in this part, uh, he will display to preparation and operation of three device in C elegance, which are using uh, laboratories. Um, the first chip um, is a microfluidic uh, sent to observe a locomotor behavior in response to precise and stable patterns on chemical stimuli. Uh, similar to uh, uh, a chemotaxis assay, but uh, uh, with a, a higher uh, reproducibility and, and data content, uh, this device can be cleaned and reused um, um, all times. Uh, this part, um, in this part, the, the, the second and, and, and third device, um, uh, are worn trapped for microscopy and high resolution, uh, uh, high resolution imaging of neuronal activity uh, using a genetically encoded uh, uh, fluorescent calcium sensor. Um, okay, uh, this chip uh, are attached to, to a glass. Uh, okay, um, uh, what else in this part? Um, in this part, uh, it, uh, it's a microfluidic construction through hydrostatic pressure. In part A, a, a seating for loading ones. In part B, a outlet tube. Uh, in part C, a, in part C, a video capture. In part D, a, in part D, a, a contain, a, a contain. A, a part one, a video camera, a, a two zoom lens, a three deposit, a four microfluidic device, a five a glass, a glass a platio, a six a LED backlight, a seven a out, outflow seating, eight a waste deposit, and, and nine a one loading seating. Okay, and uh, and this part, and this part, um, uh, clean the mold in a stream of air. Uh, uh, the inland channel uh, goes to the to the railing direction. It is uh, preferable pre preferable uh, toward the side of the micro patterns to carry out the perforation to facilitate the insertion of the tubes, uh, piercing with a uh, a gold dermal punch are, are prone to to la, la cage. Um, it is uh, advisable to drill a test hold and observe the round edge with the um, magnific last and um, and this part uh, this part um, okay uh, a, a cross-sectional view of a reusable chip and a, a permanently attached chip. Microfluidic channels with PDMS mold are sent to the glass slide. And, and this part, um, um, my, uh, my, my lake under excess liquid under pressure, uh, so the flow is is uh, previewing a better way by hydrostatic pressure and conclusion taking into account the variables in the channel if the chi was recently uh, the gaze and the small bubbles will be observed in the pdms you have to wait five to ten minutes and check the bubbles uh, become smaller thanks Good morning, everyone. Mm. 
Okay, um, in this occasion, I am gonna talk about this enhancement of a uh, COVID-19 detection time uh, uh, by minimums of electrothermal forces. Uh, okay, in this uh, paper, uh, they propose um, a new uh, solution for improve uh, the rapid detection of COVID using modeling. Uh, they use uh, these electrothermal forces using um, uh, this. Um, uh, pro this is the model that they propose. Uh, they use uh, two different uh, sensors, and uh, this is the uh, surface reaction area. And they propose four types of these uh, 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 that uh, they move the sensors and the reaction surface. Uh, 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 is in the same place. Um, they use uh, simulations and, and modeling for propose this new uh, method. Um, uh, the models is first they use the equation for electric modeling. Uh, the name the next equation they use in this is the thermal energy C equation uh, for laminar flow. They use they use an average stock in, in two dimensions. And for uh, transport the analyte and reaction, they use the uh, FIC uh, equation. And okay, we'll see what is the uh, results of the uh, the models. First, uh, uh, they uh, they use or they uh, they uh, they use some data uh, for an expert for experimental study. And uh, they use uh, the model, uh, the, the, the red line uh, represents the model, and they uh, adjust perfect for the, uh, with the experimental studies. And this is the new thing that they, uh, uh, the new uh, thing that they use. This is the, uh, the thermal um, uh, enhanced that they use. Uh, and this is the model, and the, uh, they they obtain that uh, with the this electrothermal uh, enhancement, they improve uh, the time of detection. Uh, for this reason, they they uh, they try to understand why, because the in between the both sensors there are these uh, circular uh, fields that. Uh, uh, that uh, provokes that uh, that the analyte, sorry, the analyte goes too quickly. Okay, and then uh, they uh, they are interested in these uh, results. That is the reason they change the voltage, and they say that the the best voltage is the minimum that that, that they can apply, and the limit is ten volts. And they uh, they 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 perform the model. Uh, before the, the 10 and after the, the 15 and they say that the, the 10 is the, the best optimal uh, because uh, 15 could be uh, interfere uh, with the binding of the uh, of the analyte uh, then uh, uh, in the first figure they I, I forget to mention that they use oh no, I uh, they they use these models oh, sorry uh, okay Okay, this is the type one, type two, type three, and type four. The difference between us is the position of the uh, the 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 sensors for electricity. Uh, okay, and this is the results of of different type of different uh, location of the sensors, and they they obtain that the best is the uh, type three. Uh, and, and type one, both, both are similar. Uh, and this is the uh, the model of the of the fields. This is type one and type three that is the best. And they say that the type three could be the, the best for this. Uh, if you remember, the type three, the sensor it's uh, located up one up, and the second it's down. And finally, there the final effect of the ligand that they use a thick equation uh, because the concentration of the analytics also interfere in the in, in this um, uh, in this uh, experiment 
because the concentration is, uh, if it is high, avoid the uh, uh, saturate and avoid the reaction. And that is the reason that you also uh, use uh, three different uh, concentrations. And also uh, with this uh, voltage, they also obtain that the best one is uh, the two and three, that is the, the, the minimal concentration of for this experiment. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, uh, today I, I'm going to talk about um, this paper, which title is One Step Preparation of Multifunctional Alginate Microspheres Loaded with in situ form Gold Nanostars as a Photothermal Agent. So the idea is that these authors propose to um, first synthesize these uh, microspheres using alginate. So alginate has four functions here. First, it's going to work as a co-reducing agent, also as a stabilizer of these uh, particles. Um, alginate is also going to be a drug carrier. And um, the idea is to form an embolic agent. So the, um, the objective is to combine these three, um, it's a three modality treatment uh, to against cancer. So first, the first approach is phot photothermal therapy and um, increasing the temperature of these particles. The idea is to attack the cancer cells. Also, they are going to combine it um, by functionalizing these nanoparticles with the uh, chemotherapy agent, in this case is uh, doxorubicin. And finally, to produce this embolization. So this embolization is a, it's another approach. The idea is to insert a transcatheter arterial um, to the tumor to block the nutrition for these cells that form the tumor. Okay, so first they use, in order to, uh, to produce these uniform sized uh, microparticles, they use uh, this architecture and uh, to produce micro droplets. Uh, here in figure one, you can see that there is um, two channels for the oil, and then in this cross section, it combines with the aqueous phase. In this case, it's formed by, here you see the aqueous phase is formed by alginate, sodium alginate plus this chloroauric acid. Uh, so that's the source for the gold. And the oil, in this case, they use this uh, oil with also with a uh, chlorum, um, um, a chlor a calcium chloride, so that uh, it um, polymerizes the the alginate and with surfactant. So here you see that the after the droplets are formed, they uh, they are uh, they are um, thrown to this um, a baker which has uh, the um, calcium chloride and ascorbic acid. So this vitamin C is also going to be uh, the, the agent that polymerizes the alginate. And finally, you see here the images of the microparticles that they obtained. So here you see the little formation, then the spheres, and finally after the rotation, how these particles are formed. So they are going to try this. Uh, the another advantage of these nanoparticles is that they increase the temperature uh, when they are exposed to the to a laser. So here um, they have characterized these uh, particles with different concentrations of the uh, of the um, uh, chloric, uh, chloroauric acid. And here you see the XRD patterns and also the thermogravimetric analysis of various of these microspheres. Then they have also uh, used SEM microscopy to characterize them. Here you see um, the blank and the one with the microspheres. And there is a mode in the SEM where, which you can use to uh, see the atoms that are, are present in these uh, compounds. Okay, so they uh, tried this uh, technique, and here is the morphology, the micromorphology of the 
of the nanoparticles and they have this shape of a star because they have a multi tentacle star like shape and um, here you also see how they um, increase the temperature um, and they uh, did these experiments to see the cell viability so they uh, tried all these combinations and uh, as you can see the the cell viability is significantly different so they have uh, verified that these uh, nanoparticles uh, can uh, kill cancer cells in especially when they are functionalized with doxorubicin uh, and in the concentration of a uh, chloroauric acid of a uh, 10 and here also, if you increase the, the laser, um, in, that's the best treatment. Okay, thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to I'm going to present this this paper called Microfluidic Platform for Multimodal Analysis of Enzymes Secretion in Nanoliter Droplet Arrays. So uh, this this paper is about a um, a system a high throughput uh, screening of cell uh, secreted uh, proteins uh, that they uh, try to to use to uh, with with a microfluidic approach to perform a, a analysis of uh, these cell secreted proteins uh, in nanoliter droplet arrays using uh, two methods uh, fluorescent microscopy and mass spectrometry so uh, the high throughput uh, screening of cells is required for many bio bi bioanalytical, biotechnological, and diagnostic applications, uh, like uh, discovery of, uh, of new drugs, uh, protein engineering, strain optimization, <clears throat> uh, often target molecules such as antibodies, uh, hormones, or enzymes that are sec created by the cell. So the monetization uh, helps to accumulate the secreted compounds at sufficiently uh, high concentrations for analytical measurements <clears throat> and also reduce the consumption of uh, resources. So uh, this droplet uh, with microfluidics, the cells are encapsulated in Accused uh, droplets uh, separated by a uh, water immiscible uh, fluid uh, like uh, perfluorinate oil. Okay, uh, in this study, uh, they combine the benefits of microfluidic fluid handling as well as uh, both complementary detection methods to quantify the enzyme secretion from yeast encapsulated in nanoliter droplets and its uh, enzymatic activity. Uh, they uh, re-engineer the method to encapsulate yeast cells. Uh, they incubate them over several hours on a temperature uh, controlled plate and perform multi-step cell-based uh, assays. Uh, this aiming at the strain characterization and optimization, they establish uh, protocols to measure the secretion of the uh, enzyme FITES, FITES by uh, the yeast uh, Picia pastoris. They measure the concentration of the enzyme by fluorescence spectro spectroscopy <clears throat> using a synthetic substrate. Uh, while the multi-step uh, reaction with the uh, native substrate fitting acid was uh, characterized in situ by uh, this uh, technique uh, MALDI-MS, uh, matrix-assisted 
laser desorption ionization mass spectrometry. Okay. I'm going to tell uh, a little bit about the results. Uh, for example, with the platform performance, they after the droplet formation in the micro T, the droplets were uh, transferred through a capil capillary and depos deposited on a transparent glass slide that was uh, mounted on an inverted microscope. And uh, so another ana uh, analytical, another sorry, critical performance parameter is the reproducibility of the volume of the aqueous droplets. So they, uh, the degeneration of the droplet was constantly uh, monitored by via a USB camera and a droplet detector with the frequency online. The figure two uh, shows a typical volume distribution in these experiments. The CB, the coefficient of variation, was of 2.8% uh, in droplet volume. Here. Okay, I'm going to show you the... Here. This is the, the graphic. This is the, the histogram of the droplet volume determined uh, from the images taken with the CCD camera directly after generation of the, the media uh, droplets. Okay, we continue. <clears throat> uh, another result uh, with the fluorescence assay to determine relative uh, fit test concentration. They demonstrate the use of the platform for enzymatic assays by an, uh, analyzing the supernatant of the fetus secreting yeast. Uh, they deposit uh, droplets containing dilution, dilutions of the fermentation supernatant and the oil, and another droplet containing the substrate fluorescein monophosphate was added. So the addition of this second droplet is the starting point <clears throat> for the enzymatic conversion of the substrate to the fluorescent pro product fluorescent. And, and this was um, uh, monitored on the fluorescent microscope and the slope in the linear region in this uh, figure, in this graphic, uh, correlates with the activity of the enzyme and uh, it was used to uh, determine relative enzyme concentration in the following, following experiments. Here, here. So we can see the time and the uh, fluorescence intensity uh, and at different concentrations of the uh, the of the enzyme. And finally, uh, they establish a new method for cell-based uh, measurements measurements in nanoliter volumes like optical microscopy, fluorescence microscopy, and this uh, new technique, uh, MALDI-MS, and were employed on a single platform to quantify uh, this uh, enzyme secretion, fit test, and uh, characterize the uh, reaction of the uh, secreted enzyme. Uh, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, can you clearly see my screen? Yes. Thank you for your confirmation. Okay, uh, today I'm going to inform you about the role uh, of mathematics in machine learning. Uh, this paper uh, focuses on the mathematics behind machine learning, and this like learning algorithms, uh, just the concept of probability to, to create an analysis on a given training data set for, for creating prediction. We have uh, data generated by people, uh, computer, uh, phones, and other device around the world, um, and it's going to, to increase as time passes. People analyze data, but, but the large amount of them uh, makes it exhausting to, to do it manually. One way uh, to, to overcome this is to, 
to teach the the computer how to how to learn um, get better through a lot of practice. Uh, this is machine learning. Now we're going to to talk about the machine learning process. Figure one provides information about the important phases follow uh, for proposing a model for a particular problem. Therefore, the first step of machine learning is collecting a quality data as the quality and the quantity directly uh, determine uh, the effectiveness of the model. Um, processes data is then fragmenting into two parts. Uh, one major part is for, for training and the other is for uh, Performance is for for performance evaluation. The next the next step is model selection, in which uh, all the algorithms are considered, uh, which well suited at the type of problem. Um, then model training uh, amplify the prediction uh, feature of the model using uh, training data. Finally, uh, testing data uh, is used for for evaluation through the proposed model. Uh, regarding uh, mathematics uh, uses in machine learning, uh, here figure two uh, shows the components uh, of math use in, and is powered by a combination of statistics, uh, calculus, uh, linear algebra, and probability. Uh, statistics is the course uh, everything. Um, calculus tells uh, how to how to make a model learn uh, and how model can be optimized. Some um, linear uh, Algebra makes running this algorithm just along enormous data sets. Um, probability assistance prediction of events uh, occurrence. Let's see. Uh, let's see here a, a, a problem to predict the the price of an apartment in terms of the area. Considering a uh, data set showing table one having two columns, uh, one is the the price uh, per square foot of, of an, a given apartment, and the other uh, is total area price of the apartment. This is the the only marker to to predict the, the price of the apartment as a whole. The other hand, uh, here, uh, Fuel 3 has a X axis uh, measuring the, the price per square foot and the and, and the uh, Y axis measuring the price of the house. As we see, it is a scattered plot. Uh, ideally, a line can be found that intersects uh, as many data points as possible. Uh, this line can be used for prediction. In statistics, uh, we try to create a line. Uh, so we use a statistics inference technique called linear regression. Uh, this allows studying the relationship uh, between a dependent and independent variables where y uh, is the prediction, is the, the dependent variable based on in the input uh, variable x, independent variable. The point uh, of intersection of the line uh, with uh, y axis uh, represented by b, and m uh, is the law defined the, rel the relativeness of variable. About uh, probability and statistics, uh, we can say that the probability is the is the base uh, of machine learning and and is used to to design different learning algorithms uh, like naive uh, base and Bayesian networks. For example, here in in table two, uh, you can see different probability tools and they are they're used in, in model generation. And finally, uh, about calculus, uh, we can say uh, that it can be used to implement learning for patterns. Uh, several combinations of states and control are, are used by, um, by the machine learning model for analysis. Efficient uh, machine learning uh, algorithm for, for such data sets can use a uh, hypothesis based on mathematical model uh, invol involving uh, both calculus and statics. So that's all. Thank you for your attention. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm going to be presenting this paper, Separation and Enrichment of Yeast, Saccharomyces salvisae by shape using Visolastic uh, microfluidics. The variation in shape of the yeast is closely uh, correlated to the cell cycle, genetic, and environmental factors. 3D particle focusing can be easily realized in a uh, viscoelastic fluid within a simple straight channel without any external force fields or complex uh, microchannel structures. When a particle flowing through a straight rectangular microchannel in 
a viscoelastic fluid, it experiences both elastic and inertial lift forces. So here, the O force utilizes a viscoelastic uh, microfluidic technique to separate, enrich, and classify the uh, yeast by shape in a level three and continuous matter. They use a code flow of viscoelastic fluid and the sample, which is a Newtonian fluid, to investigate the behavior of, of uh, Saccharomyces cerevisiae cells with different morphologies. So the microfluidic device they used, uh, let me see here, uh, it consists of two inlets, uh, a rectangular straight microchannel and seven outlets. The two inlets are used for introducing the yeast sample and fluid containing a relatively low concentration of polyethylene uh, oxide. The addition of the polyethylene uh, oxide makes the fluid in the middle of the channel viscoelastic, generating elastic lift forces and, uh, on the suspended yeast. So, under uh, the combined effect of the elastic and uh, initial lift forces, the yeast cell generally migrates towards the channel center line in a shape dependent speed leading to different lateral positions in the main channel. Clusters with longer major axes migrate faster to the microchannel center line, and singlets, which have a relatively shorter axis, have lateral position closer to the walls. So, level free and continuous separation and enrichment of Saccharomyces cerevisiae cells by shape is achieved using a co flow of viscoelastic and neutrinian fluids. They uh, next investigated how the flow rate affects this lateral position. And uh, the sample fluid and viscoelastic fluid were introduced, and fluid with uh, 1,000 ppm polyethylene oxide in PBS was injected into the microchannel at uh, six different flow rates. The lateral position of the yeast appears to migrate towards the center line of the channel with an uh, increasing uh, flow rate. This uh, would be because of the results of the increasing elastic uh, lift force. They uh, also investigated the effect of the flow rate of the sample suspension on the lateral position of the yeast. And uh, well, they flow the yeast with different shapes at four different sample flow rates, while the flow rate of the viscoelastic fluid remained fixed. The lateral position of the three groups uh, of yeast are found to slightly migrate toward channel center line. This is mainly because of the uh, increasing dominant elastic lift force, which directs yield cells away from the walls. A larger flow rate ratio indicates a better focusing of the three group, groups of yield cells at the inlet, which yields a smaller dispenser and hence an enhanced gap between the lateral position of the three groups of cells. Uh, they further investigated the, the effect of polyethylene oxide concentration, and uh, they saw that the elastic force seems to get uh, more dominant in a high concentration of polyethylene oxide solution. The average uh, lateral position of doublets and clusters first shifts towards the channel center line and then toward the channel wall with an uh, increasing concentration of uh, polyethylene oxide. And uh, next, they, uh, they investigated the effect of channel length. The channel Y and height were fixed, and the average lateral position of the three groups of yeast cells slightly shifts toward a channel center line with the increase of the channel length. This uh, reflects that the combined elastic and initial lift forces have a cumulative effect on the shape-dependent migration of uh, Saccharomyces cerevisiae cells. And uh, finally, uh, the Saccharomyces cerevisiae with different shapes are collected at uh, different outlets and, as expected, singlets with a shorter major, major axis are found to mostly exit from outlet one closer to the channel wall. And uh, clusters of the yeast cells with longer axis are mainly captured from the outlet uh, four at the channel center. Um, thank you listening.
Yes. 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 Talk about last week about the key and this place of single cells. Today I will tell you about the, this interesting paper entitled Three Dimensional Cells Invention Does Not Follow a Random Order. The paper told us the single fibrous of common cells migrate. But not random, might be expected. The dynamic difference between it occurs in two and three things. And the causes of this difference are proposed. Mm. The movement of bacteria and eukaryotic cells can be mathematically modeled from the random world. Approach. In the absence of gradient, absence of gradient. It is important to know cell today because many diseases, many human diseases, are related to it. The usual, the usual models, the usual the Usual models to describe the invention is the PRW models. That means persistence random work, which assumes Gaussian velocity distribution, exponential decay of the velocity correlation function, and flat angle distribution. Three conditions. In the equation of motion is described by this formula of the table, number one, equation number one, where the last term, this last term is a random variable of the dynamics. V is the velocity, S is the speed, cell speed, W is the randomly variable and P is persistence time. Persistence time. And S and P are constant in this equation. The mean square displacement is given by uh, equation 2. And SD. And depends, among other variables, on the dimension of the extracellular medium. And for example, in two dimension is a flat disk. And the three dimension is a volume. And the correlation function of the velocity vector is given by equation three. Question mm -hmm. uh, Where the exponential k function can be seen. Normally, in this model, the correlation velocity function is exponential decay. Using little such microscopy, they measure the displacement of individual human fibrous at coma cells on two dimensions, system, or collagen, collagen quartet, subtract, and inside, collagen matrix in three dimensions. Cells movement were recorded at a, at a rate of 30 frames by hour, or times in Eight hours responding to those in two point five decades and five years. Figure A 
in and B show the trajectories of stars in two dimensions, in two dimension and three dimensions. In, in this paper, in the author, the authors in, want to show us that the dynamics cells is different to two dimensions to three dimensions. Cells were tracked for eight or 16 hours. Two dimensions correspond as medium is flat collagen. In five, three dimensions correspond to medium is collage matrix. Collage matrix. In 25 cells, select cells for a plot the trajectory at select. In figure C and D, show the speed of the cells in micrometer by meters. And this, da this data show the, that possible change in the microenvironment did not change cell speed. The, 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 speed, the cell speed is approximately a constant. Figures U, E, show the speed evaluate at a short time, two minutes. In the C and D, in the interval is in eight hours, five, in this case, three minutes only. Cells on 2D, in two dimensions, here and here, is have higher speed than in collage health in three dimensions. Higher than in three dimensions. Therefore, two-dimensional cells motility is faster than three-dimensional cell motility. Figures UF, we can see in these figures that a short time scale in, in the mean square is plasma. F and S. Um, and this distance is displayed and this exponent alpha is alpha higher to one, indicating that cell motility was directional super diffusion. For more is followed from this figure, in the velocity distribution is not Gaussian distribution, but exponential distribution. Figures two. Figure two, uh, two a, um, show the correlation function of velocity a c f, where we can see that the behavior of this function is not exponential. Exponential behavior is the gray line, while the uh, the blue the blue point corresponds to the two dimensional system. And red, red point to respond to the three dimensional system. Mm. Therefore, of one of the assumptions of the PRW models does not hold in this system. P would does F angular velocity magnitude to show the velocity for two dimensional and three dimensional invasion and different communication relative to the long durated axis of the cell trajectory. We can see that the magnitude of velocity was especially anisotropic or anisotropic velocity. For this form, in K, in K, the blue line is isotropic and the red line is anisotropic like dinner. When the model goes from considering simple constant S and P in, for cells, for single cells, in, the author uh, the, the, the author aggregates cellular heterogeneity in this equation. Here, 
in this, in this equation, uh, S and P uh, always is constant. And in this case, the correction for this author, S and P, depends on the single search. We eat, we, uh, we can see in figure three, the um, PRW model is the, the original model and PRD model modification. And in figure three, D uh, show the correlation function of velocity, A, C, F, when including single cell information in the orange line. Approximate the exponential data, blue, is the experimental data. The, uh, approximate the experimental data better than the PRW model original, the, the green point. Figure 3, the 3F, the angular velocity, magnitude, in both versions of the PRW model, do not predict the velocity and isotropy at different orientations because the circle is present in all systems and is not correct to the experimental data. And as we can see in the figures, both models is isotropic and do not coincide with the experiment. Here, the author extended the PRF model to the anisotropic model, finally. Mm? Anisotropic model, A, P, R, A, A, P, L, A, P, R, W models, modified by this author, mm, considering the anisotropic mm, systems, and in this case, the models the most predict, uh, predict experimental the data in line gray is correspond to the models and the uh, point circle point correspond to the experiment. Finally, uh, finally, figure for D uh, correspond to gray line is the model APRW, the model modified by this author. In, and, and this model approximates the experimental data of the correlation function velocity, better than the PR model original in the line, in the gray line. Conclusion, the same integration does not follow a random, random Hello, everyone. Uh, I will be present uh, that paper. Uh, it's uh, publicated uh, Science Advanced Journal and uh, titled a, a high throat the, the functional screen for the uh, next generation cancer immunotherapy using a droplet based microfluidic. The uh, authors propose in, in, in this work uh, the system of uh, construct uh, uh, cells in, in, into uh, droplets, but uh, incorporate uh, uh, antibody expression for uh, stimulate uh, in the first step, uh, uh, stimulate uh, uh, in immunology system in uh, in in vivo model. Uh, and in Figure One, uh, you can see uh, the strategy for uh, encapsulate. Uh, into the droplets uh, cells with uh, uh, antibodies and uh, in a equilibrate uh, the different antibodies of uh, after and uh, uh, use in the sorting cytometry and 
classificate their different uh, droplets. Uh, we don't have uh, the, the different markers of, of antibody, okay? Uh, you can see uh, how they construct that chip and produce uh, uh, the, the droplets and uh, use uh, the different uh, laser for classificate the, the, the droplets with uh, that have uh, uh, antibodies into the droplet and the, the droplets have uh, cells also uh, uh, antibodies. Uh, how uh, they measure uh, fluorescence? Uh, you, you can see uh, in, in this in this part uh, they compare uh, the different droplets to encapsulate a. Uh, in co-cultive in, in well, it's a normal strategy for um, it's uh, it's a very performance for uh, the cells cap is is, is interesting but uh, in 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 our investigate is uh, look that same for when you transfect cells uh, in this case is is seen okay and um, next. Uh, Demonstrate uh, in, in in different droplets and, and uh, several uh, antibodies uh, have uh, the the transfect and the ions uh, in, in the droplet and after the sorting in the high uh, performance for unit uh, uh, obtain the protein and. The antibody in cell. Uh, next, uh, we need uh, the crosslinker and the crosslinker in, in antibody concentration in, in in single cell and in uh, in the different uh, staining and the different antibody use. Okay. The, after uh, use the in vivo model for demonstrate uh, in the uh, uh, tratament but when you use uh, the cell therapy for uh, stimulate the, the different uh, immunology uh, treatment for like the antibody the cells and after uh, use the the strategy for droplets and you can see uh, the control and the, the concentration and the fluorescence uh, show uh, the uh, in, in uh, the control but this had sit for uh, use uh, for droplets strategy I can see in, in uh, not only in in the TL04 and uh, in the all antibodies use uh, demonstrate uh, more concentration for uh, in in a in a model for mouse in a vivo model and use uh, the different uh, compare for uh, cell activation and and the Florence tape uh, in 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 all the uh, find the, the better uh, classificated sorting on, on the most. Uh, it's, it's interesting, but finally, uh, they uh, propose for uh, the future, approve uh, the, uh, this, this strategy for uh, antibody and after absorbing and droplets for uh, uh, treatment of cancer and in immunological uh, uh, treatment for immunological, okay? Uh, that is all, thanks.